So undoubtedly the most frustrating thing about using a smartphone in 2015 is the battery. Our phones are getting more and more advanced, but the batteries just seem to be lacking behind that advancement. And we're all suffering from this, we're all complaining about it, but things don't seem to move a whole lot. So in this video, I will look into what happened to our phone batteries and what is happening to our phone batteries in the future. So. Back in the day, you will remember it, probably uh, you had a, a Nokia, a Motorola, whatever. They used to last like a full week, which is unthinkable of right now in 2015. Uh, but those phones, for example, the Nokia 3310, the perfect and the classic example, uh, those kind of phones, they, they, they used to last like a week. Nokia 3310, for example, had just a 900 milliamp hour battery. Uh, for If we compare that to phones uh, these days, for example, the Galaxy S6 has like a 2500 milliamp hour battery and that doesn't last you the day at all. Um, of course, the Nokia 3310 has just like 0.1 percent of the all the features that a galaxy s6 has but still you would expect smartphones in 2015 to at least last a full uh, day on a single charge but that just isn't the case battery development isn't keeping up with the rest of the phone at the development like at all uh, phones are getting thinner and thinner each year which definitely isn't helping uh, the battery capacity because batteries just need to be a little bit on the thicker side to be able to house uh, a good amount of capacity but phone makers just seem to uh, prioritize thinner phones over phones that will last you at least a day uh, also screens are getting bigger and bigger phone companies seem to think that we're all basketball players and of course a bigger phone uh, means more power use so your battery life won't benefit from that at all. Also, we have higher resolution screens, better quality screens, which is all great. But of course, a 4K screen will uh, drain your battery much faster than a 1080p or even a 720p screen. Also, we have 4G connection right now, which is definitely not helping your battery life. And we're getting faster processors every year, especially the Qualcomm processors found in Android phones are really power hungry. So that isn't helping your battery either. Of course, as we know, batteries are getting worse uh, as you use them. Of course, um, their capacity will decrease uh, as you charge and decharge the battery. That's just how a, a lithium ion battery i think that's how they are called that's just how it works unfortunately but people are going as far as calling this a conspiracy by the phone companies that they are uh, doing this on purpose and they are halting the battery development on purpose so that uh, your phone battery will be shit even more shit than it already was after one or two year, years so that you will be kind of forced to buy a new phone um but I don't really think that could be true uh, because the phone battery development uh, definitely isn't standing still. For example, a solar battery is in development right now. Uh, so that will be uh, really cool. It, uh, it, it will be like solar cells uh, embedded into your phone screen so that your phone will be able to charge using the sun, uh, which is quite cool, but I'm just curious how much it will actually charge uh, furthermore an aluminium powered battery is in development which will be able to charge up to 50 percent in like uh, three minutes um, which is cool but i'd rather have a battery which lasts me a long time than having a battery which charges really fast uh, i preferably have both actually also a urine powered battery is in development um, for if you want to charge your phone on the toilet also a sand powered battery is in development a foam powered battery a flexible battery and a battery which is powered by your skin uh, 
which is all cool but i expect to see that uh, in 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 maybe a minimum of three years maybe so that will be a, 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 a some time off i mean things seem to be not um not moving very fast at the moment uh, for the last two three maybe four years uh for phone battery so for now there's not much you can do uh, i can give you some advice if you're in the market for a new smartphone make sure it's a phone that has at least one and a half days of battery life so that after one or two years you won't have the situation that you will have to uh, charge your battery before the sun goes down and uh, apart from that yeah it will be a few years of waiting and that's it if you have your opinions if you have anything to say which can be beneficial or whatever there is a comment section below this video feel free to leave your thoughts down there feel free to subscribe to my channel it's an amazing channel which you should check out i make more of these kind of useful information videos which is cool of course uh you can follow me on twitter you can do everything you want and then i will see you in the next one thank you for watching